Hello friends. Today I want to share a memory with you. I want to honor a life that was very important to me. I just returned from the funeral service of a very dear person, Anne Germano. And these are the lovely flowers that one of her daughters gave to me from the reception afterwards. It might seem funny to talk about a funeral, but I really want to talk about Anne and what she meant to me, just to kind of, you know, put it out there into the world, because I know we all have people who are very important to us that leave. So Anne Germano was my second mother. We lived on a block in North Hollywood where there were four houses in a row. There was the Bickett family, that was my family, and next door were the DeMeos, that's where Tony Marie lived, and then there was the Germanos, and that's where Anne lived, and then the Sauls. Now, in Anne Germano's house, they had four children. They had Denise and Diane, and uh, Denise and Nikki, and Diane and Danelle. And Diane was my best friend forever. I mean, you know, from the time that I was five years old to the time that I was 14 years old, we literally spent every single day together. I mean, we were inseparable and she was really what a best, what a best friend is, you know, always together and enjoying each other's company. And we were so little, we just, we grew up together. She was like a sister to me. So Anne was like a mother to me. My mom worked um, at the grade school where, uh, where I went, St. Patrick's, and all of the Germanos went to St. Patrick's, so did the DeMeo, so did the Sauls. Everybody went to, you know, St. Patrick's Catholic Grammar School where I met Robert in the first grade. And um, so my mom was the secretary there and I would come home and Anne would take care of me until my mom could come home from work. So I would hang out at Diane's house all the time. And I looked up at, to Denise because she was so old and she was, you know, she was probably, I don't know, three years older than we were, but you know, she was like in the eighth grade and we were just still tiny and, um, Nikki, Diane and I just loved aggravating Nikki. And then Danelle was the little sister who came along later. And that was an experience for me because I had never been around a little person before. So the other thing is that I was an only child. So I would um, always go home to a very quiet house. You know, my parents adored me um, and we had a beautiful family, but when I would go to the Germanos, oh my gosh, there was always something happening. All of the kids, you know, we were running around and Anne was negotiating all of that chaos with great grace. She was a fabulous, fabulous cook. I remember specifically her banana bars. They were like my favorite. And every time when I was an adult and I would visit, she would always make sure to have banana bars available for me. We used to have poached eggs with toast and um, let's see, graham crackers and milk after school. You know, these were the days when you would come home after school, you would have a snack and then you would go outside and play until it was dark and then you would go inside. So, you know, Anne would always give us our snack and we would hang out and play Barbies. Anne was a really important part of my childhood and my growing up. She was very active in our parish. She was the president of the Altar and Rosary Society. You know, and they used to put on all kinds of plays and Anne was in the plays. And I always thought that was so amazing. So I was this little girl sitting sort of, you know, on the outside of this very big Italian family, thinking that would be so wonderful to have a big family like that. And I think that being involved with Anne's family is one of the reasons why, you know, I had more than one child because I thought it was so much fun to be part of their family. So today I wanna to thank you, Anne. I am so grateful for you. And I wanna thank Denise and Nikki and Diane and Danielle for sharing you with me. And, you know, my childhood on Kittredge Street 
would have been very different without you. God bless. Thank you.